friends and subscribers around the world. The camera looks so weird from this side. <laughs> Got a new little camera that we're trying right now, so see how that works. Thought I'd better do a check in. I ain't, or we ain't uh, been busy, busy. Haven't really done any videos or anything. Um, man, we've been up to the Salmon River, done a little fishing, done a little shed hunting. You know, found a few elk antlers. Um, mushroom hunting. We're biting at the bit for that. That's still at least a month off. The temperatures up here today. It's pretty dang chilly out here. And we've had some snow and all kinds of crap for the last week. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to get 50 mile an hour gusts of wind. And then starting Wednesday, it's supposed to start getting up high 60s and into the 70s and stuff. So a couple of weeks, we'll really start looking for mushrooms and stuff. But uh, right now I've been working on the... And I've pulled uh, trailers out. I guess we can kind of walk this way. Everything. Trying to do a lot of spring cleaning and stuff. But we're... I pulled the the trailers over here. It was in front of the motorhome or the gypsy wagon. I pulled this one up and then pulled the other one out and put it out here. That one I'm either going to turn into a little tiny house or a, a little hunting and mushroom hunting and shack for me and Miss Kitty. I haven't decided. Maybe a wood trailer. That all, everything changes around here all the time. <laughs> Doesn't it, Miss Kitty? Yes, it does. Uh, daily. Do you want me to put that camera on you? No. no. Looking awfully beautiful today. Well, thank you. <laughs> you look a lot better on here than me. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so I'm cleaning up. That's one of the things about using reclaimed and recycled is, uh, man, I love it. It's a, it is a lot of work. Most of the time when I bring stuff in, I try to clean it up and everything right then. Um, because of the weather and stuff. Do you remember when I was tearing down the the one building, man, I ended up just hauling it in. So now I'm going through, I've got kind of a, a junky pile that I'm cutting and putting right here. So I'm going through and um, pulling nails, cutting off bad spots, and then organizing it into, you know, the framing and the siding and the, you know, trim pieces and everything, getting it all organized here. But I'm trying to clear out this area right here um, because my wonderful father-in-law, I love that guy, he comes up, man, I was telling him, because I'd been trying to get some wood shakes for a while, if I had a place, there was a roofer down in, uh, we were down in the valley, there was a roofer that would let me go over and he'd haul the shakes in, man, he'd let me haul them off, you know, the wood shakes when he'd do a tear off. Well, I was telling Marshall about that, and, uh, lo and behold, He's back to doing the construction thing, and lo and behold, he just had a uh, wood shingle tear-off job. And what does he show up? This trailer is completely full of cedar shakes. But the work begins because of the reclaimed, reuse. And see, most of the time, you know, these are this. He said this was about a 20-year-old roof which is about the time that they really started using the staples. Before that, it was roofing nails. Um, as far as the cleanup, man, I'd rather have, because no matter what, you're going to end up with some staples and stuff on the ground. We use the magnet. We throw them all in the buckets, you know, and all that. But you still end up with them. And Man, when I was getting the ones down there in the valley, we had, I don't know how many, Sonny, how many roofing nails we ended up with in our tires and stuff, so the staples would be better, but... This is a 20-foot trailer, loaded completely up and down. I'm so stoked. <laughs> he, uh, it was, uh, it was pretty funny. But, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's just awesome. And then the, the roofing guy that's doing this one's actually doing a roof in McCall when the snow goes away. And, um, if I get this trailer empty or another trailer and it works out, I'll actually end up getting another load. And the cool thing about it, when they tore it off, because he was just jacked for me to, to take them, because it cost him so much money to go dump them, and he was kind enough to uh, not put the, you know, a lot of time when you tear them off, there's tar paper underneath it, so they just roll them up, you know, and throw them off, but they actually kept the tar paper out of this, so. So that's just awesome, so I'm just jazzed about that. Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> that's just awesome. And then... So is this going to be part of the $50 um, oh, yeah, I forgot about the hotel cabin. I, need to get, I got a bunch of crap I need to get on that. Yeah. I mean, just, everything's just crazy. Right. Yeah. You 
today uh, we're actually a few days late because we wanted to start our um, I got 200 um, one of the big berthas or uh, beef steak beef steak beef steak tomato seeds some heirloom organic seeds that we're going to start we got to do that today and I'm going to start building a uh, um, that solar dehydrator I'm going to reduce the size down because of the screens that I ended up scoring and already having I'm not going to build the big huge one yet but I'm going to build one because like I said the mushroom season and stuff's coming soon and so, I heard it. Uh, yeah, ducks. <laughs> but the mushroom season is coming soon so I got to get a dehydrator and stuff for that and uh, uh, I'll probably yeah I'll probably use these some on the $50 cabin I got this, you know, these and then the, um, lots of the metal that I've been getting and already had got. Um, the thing about wood shakes is I would have probably put them on my cabin, um, but not around the fireplace because, man, they do, you know, they can <laughs> burn up real easy. But I'm going to actually use some of these more. Over there where I pulled that trailer out, um, I'm going to end up build putting a, cover up and it's actually going to be a barbecue porch type area you know I end up putting a shake roof on it and stuff and then we want to do a clay adobe uh, oven and uh, barbecue pit and stuff like that so that's something I'll try to film we'll see how this new camera's doing and stuff like that what else I got going on Miss Kitty keep me straight baby mm. Um, is that all I was saying I was gonna I just wanted to do man, I hadn't done a video in a while, man. I forget about you guys. It's just been just crazy busy and uh just keep it on, keep it on. So I guess we'll uh check in. I might have Miss Kitty or or I'll film it myself when I pull the uh pallet 'cause I'm gonna build the dehydrator. I'm gonna use a pallet for the floor, you know, and then build walls on it and then use the window paint the inside of it black, use a window to draw the heat and it'll have a hole which will bring the heat in from when the where the window is, it'll be all sealed, the heat will go in through the hole and then it'll be a floor on a pallet and then it'll come up kind of like an outhouse with racks in there with a little vent and it actually makes that heat absorb, you know, and the heat rises so then it'll go into the little building and up and out, so that's the plan. And I guess I'll try to film some of that maybe once I get it going along. It's kind of hard to film everything and do it at the same time. Yeah. All right. Huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> and Miss Kitty don't want to follow me around with this thing because it's cold out here right now. <laughs> so you all have a wonderful day, and we'll check in soon. Okay, so I guess I wasn't quite done. We went in and checked. Like I said, we've got a new camera. And, of course, uh, picked it up secondhand at a, at a yard sale. So we're testing it and there's adjustments and stuff so we're going to see if this segment's any better and if not we're going to go back to the old camera. But I did want to mention uh, some friends of ours. I wanted to thank Brian and Donna for the little treats they send up to us. Thank you very much. And uh, check out old Bob. Bob, my buddy Bob's been doing some pretty funny, entertaining and uh, educational videos. You should check him out. What's his channel name? <laughs> um, ha <laughs> ha, doing it cheap. Very good. So check out old Bob. And then uh, I thought we'd just do a little thing right here. This is where I pulled them trailers out. And what I ended up doing is driving T-posts in, which was, it blew my mind that I actually got them in here because it's that hard pack. But I ended up driving T-posts and um, belly wired these uh, posts to the T-post, or these posts to the T post I ended up doing this and then I actually took some fencing staples to tighten it up around there and it, I mean it made it pretty secure and then when I lock it in um, how you gonna lock it in? I'm gonna end up lock, well I'm gonna end up framing and putting out here so I'll lock it in and then when you lock the whole square in you know it'll really stabilize mm -hmm. it and stuff like so that. So it'll have a roof. So right because this is gonna be a roof Basically, it's going to be a patio, but it's going to have a roof on it, which will have wood shake. A roof on it. This will be a wall, and then, like I said, this is going to be like a barbecue picnic, morning coffee, little area for us. And then where that trailer's at, I haven't decided for sure. And I might actually that fifty-dollar cabin. I might end up uh, building my blacksmith shop for my fifty-dollar cabin. I haven't decided, but it may go where that trailer is. But I decided I wanted to keep it kind of separate, so if it ever lit up, it didn't burn my, my whole dang place down. 
So we're going to check the quality of this and probably attach this to the end of that other video. Was that everything yep, I was going to talk about? All right. Have a wonderful day.